And... Oh, you fucker. That has to be deliberate. There's no way that that is anything but deliberate. Okay. There we go. You guys, I'm just gonna airstrike. I am sick of this shit. Seasons are also by far the most annoying to deal with. Okay, so North America has all of its sentinel armor. Fantastic. We... Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Transfer... Uh, manufacturing here. So how are we doing? You guys are building more ri mag rifles. Um, yes, that's what we're going to do because I want to build a new tank. I want that done sooner rather than later. I'll do that. But we should be able to build in, I think, North America. Right. Um, we should be able to go for uh, soldier weapons. Singularity cannon. 500 grand. Yeah, sure. Go to aircraft. Great. You. Yep, you're being built. Fantastic. Um, I kind of want to just build another Marauder here. Can I? Do I have the stuff? Yep. Excellent. X120 Fury. It's the ultimate weapon in the battle for us guys. It's an unmanned aircraft with virtually unlimited range that can fly so far high and so fast no UFO has a hope of outrunning it, let alone intercepting it. It can travel at Mach 8, about 10, more than 10,000 Ks an hour, allowing it to reach any point in the world under two hours. It carries a single super heavy singularity torpedo in each mission. Uh, it was influenced by the allegedly secret SR-71 Blackbird, which is almost invulnerable to conventional technology due to its impressive speed and service ceiling. Not that our organization have had any problem with them. The design's been evolved and enhanced, not the least by removing the pilot and equipment required to keep them alive. The autonomous flight computer tracks sensor data against mission parameters, adjusting its behavior to ensure the mission is completed as quickly and as safely as possible. The engines are a three-stage turbojet, ramjet, scramjet design. At each stage speeds the craft to the point at which the following stage can kick in. It can engage at max 4, produce 75,000 pounds of thrust, rapidly accelerating the Fury to Mach 8. At these speeds, air resistance heats the craft to the, to the surface of the craft to 4,000 degrees Celsius, ordinarily impossible to sustain without a spacecraft-style ablative coating that requires replacement every flight, but we got hardened alien alloys that are more than capable of dealing with that indefinitely. Allowing it to travel so quickly, it's entirely immune to damage from alien UFOs. Uh, unfortunately... That also, because the weapons have to be de designed to deal with this as well, uh, it's limited to the Singularity Torpedo, and you need to use a Singularity Core to deal with it. The thing about this ship, and I guess the Singularity Torpedo, is it will instantly kill an alien weapon. That's basically what happens here. It just immediately smashes the it uses a charged loop yeah it just it immediately kills any alien ship that it deals with and then has to return to base it automatically annihilates the alien ship so it's great for shooting them down but i don't see any point because my my other stuff is more than possible to deal with this like more than able to deal with this so why would i spend i need to kill a battleship to deal with it uh, to get one. Why would I spend 600,000 even more alenium, even more alien alloys for this? Like, it, there's, there's no point. Okay, manufacturing. Jackal armor. Um... 
And there we go. Go to base. Yep. Great. Now we can go... Yep. Now we're going to grab mag carbine so we can always have that if we want them. Intercept that from South Africa, why not? Boom. Return to base. Done. Like, I don't need to be good at the air game anymore. I've got this stuff. Um, yeah, we'll just send you guys out. And send you guys out. Like, this would be not a bad choice. I mean, Harridans are a pain regardless. We'll just send one out to deal with you. Auto resolve, return to base. Battleship, auto resolve, return to base. This is not ever happening. I don't want to deal with 17 seasons. I'd rather just get a hundred grand. It's no no offense, seasons, but fuck off. That was kind of unnecessary use of language there, but on the other hand, I really don't like them. This, you know, I could deal with. That I could deal with. I mean, that I could deal with easily. North America is well placed to deal with that one. Uh, North America. Let's go through. Do we have people unassigned? Yep. Okay. So, North America. Oh, that's the wrong ship. And that is, is in fact, me assigning more people. Um, so... Alex, Ricardo... Yeah, see here, I'd be going boom. Actually, equip your stuff. Yep, there we go. So this is an option, right? One option is forego the tank entirely, just have more people. Because more people is more better. As, as the ancient saying goes, more people, more better. Um, the other option is finish building our new tank and do that. Uh, here we have North America. Valkyrie 1, you, you should not be in Valkyrie 3. You should be in Valkyrie 3. But North America was the one I needed to equip. So now we need to go through and we need to actually equip people. Yep, other Dave, Paul, you can carry a little bit more stuff now. Sammy is fine. Uh, Barry is fine. Pietro is fine. You can carry a little bit more. Errol is fine. I really need to remember I have those explosives. I don't know that there's much point in using them most of the time, though. Thomas is not fine. There. Wow, you cannot carry much, can you, Thomas? In fact, given I am dealing with just a 10 civilian ship, what would be a great idea would be to say, you know what? Don't do that. Instead, we'll just assign another two people. And we'll equip another two people. Probably, I mean. Oh, wow. Um, uh, you change to assault. Ah, uh, you are the one. 
Um, if we give you stuff, yep, that's fine. Then we can go plasma rifle. Nope. So we'll change you change roll to assault. Still gonna give me that miss that error, so to speak. And we go boom, 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 boom. More ammo for the ammo guy. And a little bit more. And then intercept with North America. You. Um, Europe, how are you going? We got a bunch of people that are a little bit wounded. But on the whole, you're okay. Uh, yeah. And Europe's all equipped. Alex, keep training. Yeah, we'll do this. Okay. And the civilian ship. Uh, that's right, this is where we're at. Last time we're on a night mission, which is not great, where um, I saved at the start of deployment, which allows me to actually see around the deployment field, which honestly, pretty happy with as a thing to do. It's possibly a little bit cheaty, but on the other hand, fuck it. Uh, you can point this way and you can point this way and finish deployment boom deployed okay you can I just check this here so throw distance is based on strength um, so what we're gonna do is we're just gonna chuck things as far as we can try and get an idea of where things are this is I recall is a relatively easy mission. Always a little inconvenient that uh, we can't see as far as aliens can. So Sammy, who is our best soldier on this group of the North Americans, I believe. Okay, and then Pietro. Interesting how it's like, I'm just going to fly this distance. Oh, I see why. Yeah. Because I didn't have Pietro selected, I had Paul selected. Okay. So that is also a map edge, so it should be relatively easy for us to cover it off. Unless, you know, the, it continues. So we'll just pop out some flares. 23, 22, okay. So you are about as done as you can be. That's right, Anna, we didn't have enough stuff to equip. So we'll just pop this out. This better be the scout ship and not the Harridan one. I don't remember well enough. And that actually makes me pretty nervous. Um, now I just thought about it. But I think this is the uh, civilian one. And what we're trying to do is we're trying to train up our troops, so... Oh, that's also a map edge. So, this is going to be mostly this way. Cool. Then that's fine. Ish. You guys fly. Kind of silly that they can't just walk across the water, frankly. Mike can move this way, and we will just split up. Because as everyone knows, the right approach in scenarios like this is to split the party.
And turn, and who shoots this from the tower? Okay. It sounded like two aliens dying. Not exactly what I expected. Yep, sure. But yeah, that was a billions if I if I recognize my sounds. So we're not dealing with seasons. Aha, uh -huh. yep, here's our scout ship. Okay. So it came from over here, which means they've got to be roughly there. Let's try this. And again. Now. Well, that was literally shooting in the dark. So, can't expect too much. We should have another heavy around here. Do I not have both heavies marked as such? No, I just can't read my own screen. Okay, so if I were to turn around and shoot over here. Now. I can reload. Might as well do that. It takes just under half your time units to reload in these situations. Great, there is a civilian there. Of course, it's you. Um, pull. If I move you here, you can get an aim shot off. Which misses because I don't actually have that good a uh, set of troops. Uh, 38 is required for aim for you. No, 30, 35 is needed. So we can get you marginally closer and thus marginally better off. And you just shoot the rock in front of you. Sure. 42 for aimed. I mean, taking pot shots across a map is not exactly an optimal plan, but occasionally you hit and uh, you run up here and chuck this here. Okay, sure. Uh, who else do we have? We've got you. You need 30 to do an aim shot. We'll do this here because I think you'll need to turn. Ah, of course, and the shot is blocked. So we'll just move you up. And who do we have left? We've got an assault left. Who can rush up here? Fantastic. All right, next. Shots from the dark. Armor resists both. Oh, it's so good having good armor. Because this would be possibly a fatal move previously. <laughs> okay. You need 39 for a burst. And you're at 44, so I could get you... No. We'll do a burst. Wow. You're terrible. I'll just pop him from here. The advantage of him being a uh, base civilian, civilian. He's not a non-com, but he's pretty damn close. Oh, nice. They can just, of course, fly across the water. There you are. I was looking for you. Wow, that's some really terrible accuracy. Come on. Okay. So, because of better crashes, I suspect this ship started off on fire, and that's why we had a couple of aliens perish in the fires.
Yeah, we'll do this, and you are fine. You can move up. Move on up. Yep, there we go. And I think that's everyone. The great thing is, my guys have, like, my guys have good enough armor. They can actually withstand this. Okay. So what we're going to do is, we're, if they want to play at this game, we too can play at this game by just allowing them to get themselves killed to reaction fire. Fifty-eight. Nope. Twenty-one. That'll do. Errol, you need twenty to snap fire. No, we'll just expose there. You guys can head around this way. Yep, there's a the corner of the map and everything. And you still head over here, though. I think that's everyone. Nope, you. Move up. And anyone else that I want to move? Nope. You want to pop out? Good job. I wonder if I do this. Nah. Can I do it with him? I'd rather have him there to snap fire. Mm, so we'll just take pot shots at the door. Pretty sure we can destroy the door through a uh, mag fire. If we can hit the door. Which is surprisingly difficult, it would seem. Thank you. Less thank you there. Uh, really surprising what will suppress and what won't at times. We'll just do this. Yeah, that worked. I regret nothing. Hmm. That's not good. Okay, you. You need 42 to fire. Good. Do we... No, I think what we want to do is we want to have the Dave's level. Okay. Now, if we also get our assaults in where we can. Because I inadvertently suppress both of them. Suppression is annoying enough when they do it. When I do it, it's even worse. Great. Um, you guys run over here. And back here. If nothing else, they, they can get um, more time units at the end of this. Sammy can stay where she is. Yeah, thought that might be the case. 38 to burst, so... There we go. No point in not doing that. Yeah, Sammy got injured, um, and just they're getting medals, which is good. That gives more bravery. And yeah, like we got more money than we otherwise would have. We got promotions, we got time units, yeah, there was no reason not to do that. And we at least improved everyone's strength. I mean, these two I should have moved around more, I guess, to improve time units. 